Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about something called square root. So what exactly is a square root? Well, let me show you. Um, over here, if you'd please draw a square. And remember, the length and width of a square have to be the same. So let's say the area of the square is four square feet. My question for you is, what does the length and width have to be? Now keep in mind, the length and width of a square has to be the same number, right? So what number times itself will give four? And the only answer we, we can use is two and two. So the square root of four, in this case, would be two. So the square root of a number is a value when multiplied by itself gives the number. So please write down multiplied in this blank. like that. So there's also a symbol that we use for square roots. It looks like like this. So the square root of 4 I could say equals 2 because 2 times 2 gives us the 4. Let's say if I want to know the square root of 9. So the question is what number multiplied by itself gives us 9 and that would be 3. And how about one more? Say if I want to know the square root of 25. Well I know 5 times 5 gives us 25, so that's the square root. But these numbers also have one more square root. Not only could two be the square root of four, but also negative two. All right, so negative two, because negative two times negative two gives us a four as well. Here, instead of three, it could also be a negative three, because negative three times negative three gives us nine. And this one, instead of a five, it could also be a negative five because negative five times negative five gives us a 25. So let's say for example, I want to know the square root or square roots of the number 100. Well, 10 times 10 is 100 and also negative 10 times negative 10 is 100. So we could say it's going to be plus or minus 10. So basically anytime you see that plus or minus together, it means it could be either positive 10 or also negative 10. Now, there's also some square roots of fractions. For example, say if I want to know the square root of 4 ninths. Well, I know that 2 times 2 gives us 4, and 3 times 3 gives us 9. So, I know when I multiply 2 thirds times 2 thirds, I'm going to end up with 4 ninths. So that means the square root of 4 ninths equals 2 thirds. But it could also be negative 2 thirds. So it's going to be plus or minus 2 thirds. Another example could be, what's the square root of 36, 49 ths Well, I know 36 is uh, 6 times 6, and 49 is 7 times 7. So if I multiplied 6, 7 times 6 sevenths, we'd get 36, 49 ths um, So the answer is going to be plus or minus the, uh, 6 sevenths. So now that you have a better understanding of just what exactly is a square root, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do with these practice problems. So here we wanted to draw a line connecting every perfect square to its square root or roots. So the first one we have is the square root of nine, that nine perfect square. So I know the square root of nine is gonna be three and also negative three. So let me draw a line down to negative three. And that's the only one listed. Three's not there, so that, that's fine. The next one is square root of 64. And I know the square root of 64 is eight and also negative eight. So this is gonna be an eight. And this one also, well here we have an eight also, so let's make that a negative eight. Uh, the square root of 81 is nine and negative nine. So let's draw a line right to nine. And negative nine is not listed, that's fine. And then finally we have one fourth, and I know the square root of one fourth is one half because one half times one half gives us one fourth, right? So the square root of one fourth is a half. If you notice, we have the fraction one half and also the decimal that equals one half. So these are both the answers right there. All right, how'd you do?